All right, last week I spoke about the GPT store. So GPTs have been out for two months and the store came out last week and I'm going to make a GPT live in probably 10 minutes. And I haven't done this before, I haven't made this one before. So we're going to see how it does. Everyone needs to have a GPT. Um, most people are asking what that is. A GPT is your personal agent. It's a customization of uh, ChatGPT. So same company as ChatGPT. And you can put your own information in it to do tasks for you. So today I'm going to make a marketing assistant for Skyline Sightseeing, Hop on a Puff Bus Tour in San Francisco. The only thing I've pre-done on this is I wrote two prompts. So this first one is just because I'm not very quick at typing. And I'm going to take this. So basically I'm telling ChatGPT. So normally I'd feed in my actual information into ChatGPT. I'm going to tell it what kind of company I am, what kind of target market, uh, kind of company culture, this kind of thing, because I want to make a custom marketing assistant for, for this company. But I haven't done that. I've asked ChatGPT to create this background information. So it's now creating, based on a perfect company, this best background information. So it's creating the tone, the company culture, my sustainability policy that it's made up, that we're customer centric. It's assuming we are the best of everything and it's creating that in the background. I'm going to use that in a second. So obviously you'd use your own information for that based on your brand and your own company culture, etc. So now I go to ChatGPT homepage. And I go to explore GPTs over here. And these are the other GPTs which other people have created, which you can use. So you're basically making your own GPT for your own use. If you want, you can share that with others. This example I'm doing today wouldn't be the kind of thing you'd share except with your own staff. But these are all things that other people have made. They do very similar things to the one I'm going to create now. So um, you, you can find a million marketing assistance on this um, but they won't have your custom information in so what are we going to make we're going to make a marketing assistant so that's all i'm going to tell it and it's going to ask me some information so it's building now a profile of the gpt it's asking me what it's going to do really top line it's created created a name marketing mate is a terrible name but let's go with it market mate Kind of an English name, it doesn't have English, but there you go. So now it's going to create a uh, what's it going to do next? It's thinking, not that much to think about, but it's going to generate a profile picture. This is just a nice little thing, it creates a little favicon, and I think it makes people feel good that they're kind of building something a bit more complex than just a text engine. So there you go, some cogs, light bulb, um, things moving, looks good. Let's just tell it it looks good. Um, so now I'm going to go to, it's going to ask me for some more information, what else we're trying to do. It's going to ask me for uh, what we're going to focus on, SEO, digital marketing, etc. But what I've done here is built this prompt. So this is basically telling it an outline of what we're doing. So I'm going to feed that in, just copy and paste that in. But you'll, obviously you just write this yourself, exactly what you're trying to do, what you're trying to become a TikTok influencer? Are you trying to maximize SEO? Tell it your exact goals. So I've just made this really generic. We're trying to sell double-decker bus tours in San Francisco. You're going to do all the marketing stuff. Uh, goal is to maximize exposure and fill the seats, maximize revenue. So now it's asking us some more clarifications. Um, Let's discuss how we should interact, kind of language, that sort of thing, what, what kind of tone it should take on. But actually what I want to do is give it all this background information. So I'm going to go back to where we created this information up here on ChatGPT. Uh, I don't think I need that last bit. So I'm just going to copy that and just dump that into the GPT itself. So now just giving it all the background company information, not really what I asked for, but it doesn't matter. I'm just feeding it stuff right now. So it's now taking that text, it's converting it to a format which it can read, which it can read, which is a vector thing. It's converting it to numbers, basically making it super fast for it to read back in the future. 
So it's taken all that into account and it's asking if we want to be um, any more details, blah, 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 nothing important. So we can go ahead and test this now. So you build it on the left, update it on the left, and then you you can test it live on the right. So we're going to do um, create 10 IG posts lead, um, leading up to Valentine's Day. So that's all I've told it, right? So it... If you ask that in chat GPT, it's going to ask you for who, for what, what's the target market, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But it's learned all that on the left, so I don't have to keep feeding it that information. So it's going to create these 10 posts for me. It's doing 10 days before, a post a day. You can read those. Uh, it's telling you what kind of image to post. I can ask it again. I can ask it to um, do our images as well. And those look pretty good. Maybe they're a little bit cheesy. Maybe there's a lack of character. Maybe they're not funny enough. Maybe you're not supposed to be funny for Valentine's Day. What do I know? But there it is. Um, now let's create a blog post for a first time visitor on things to do so now it's creating a blog post i didn't tell it how long or how short normally i would tell it exactly how long i want it but it's now to start creating the information on what to do in san francisco iconic landmarks looks good cultural hotspots looks good everyone complains when I, when you make these things because it gives you generic information and it has it's telling you to get to go across the golden gate bridge which Generic or not, it is the best thing to do. Fisherman's Wharf, seafood, all a bit generic. But I deserved that, right? I just thought it to write me a blog post for the first time visitor. That's all I gave it. If I wanted it to create some a list of places nobody else goes to, like hidden gems, it's got one in there, then I would have asked it. And actually, alleys of North Beach, really good. Um, mosaic Steps at 16th Avenue, which Instagram doesn't like Mosaic Steps. Sutra Bass is one of the best things to do in San Francisco. So there's a blog post based on my company, based on me marketing that. I could probably post that today. I haven't read it in detail, obviously, and you need to read everything in detail. Um, but I, I want it to be funny. So I'm going to tell it on the left to make everything funny. ChatGPT is not very good at jokes. It'll make jokes. Um but they're not very good, they're, they're cheesy. Some people find them probably great. So now I'm updating on the left. It's gonna take that, it shouldn't take that long, but it's incorporating that into everything else. Now it's gonna bring a touch of humor to all the posts, blah, blah, blah. I think I need to let it finish before I ask it anything else. And yep, yeah, so um, it's, it's refreshing because it's basically a new assistant now with new information. Create five IG posts, and let's see if they're funny now. So obviously you, you could change. If you're a serious company, if you maybe it's um, you need to be more serious about safety or something, if you're rock climbing, you, and then you give it that tone, and it'll tell you what you're doing. So it's telling me to make a comical illustration of a bus, rise and shine sightseeing. Is It's all very jolly and happy and... Um, some people find this stuff funny. Maybe, maybe it's maybe it's fun. I'm not going to sit and read it all. But that's now my marketing assistant. That took I don't know le less than ten minutes. I've got a timer on there. I don't know what my timer is. I think less than ten minutes. I can now have that create blog posts all day long, Instagram posts all day long, marketing copy. Uh, tell it to create Google ads if I want. I would give it some more information for that. Have it create my product descriptions if I give it more information for that. I would actually. Pro, I would actually give it all of my product descriptions. We do that in Magpie. We automatically feed all of your product descriptions into an assistant, which we built just like this. And it takes your actual products. And now I can create posts for each product separately. So I can create a general blog post for San Francisco, for the first timer, for Valentine's Day, for Easter, for Wednesday morning, for Thursday rainy night, anything I want with a couple of prompts. And I can create them now, now for my products if I want, but I could do that in a GPT as well. That's it. That's how to make a GPT. That took less than 10 minutes, I think. I don't have a timer. 
everyone can do that. It's really easy. And from now on, I go back to that to create all my marketing content. And it won't be perfect, but it'll give me a really good head start and save me a ton of time. That's all for now. Thanks for listening.